I've been on the road for months without having a place to call my own. This life makes you tired. I have been yearning for a place I can call my own for a while now. A little corner in a world where I can switch off, let my guard down and relax. I just arrived here. Where am I? After many months on the road not having a permanent home, I finally got a little space here in the back in this building which will become my studio gallery and my home base so if I'm not on the road making vlogs and traveling I will be here making art, writing songs, writing poetry editing, um, doing all the other things I like to do and it will be open to the public it will be open for you to come and visit you can come here, hang out with me drink a glass of wine, we can discuss stuff and check out my art and it will be the nomadic gallery so if I'm not on the road I'm here I'm very very thankful because it's hard even you don't have a home base I'm here at the police station and all I can do now is make myself as comfortable as possible and my two friends so we spend the night together that's my posse for the night see you tomorrow and when I'm not here you'll still be able to come and see my art I'll leave a key here for someone and you can come in, but I'm happy to be here. And this vlog will be about this area where I am now. So let's do it. Buffalo Yachts River, which roughly translates as Buffalo Hunt River, is a small community right next to the N2. It's 10 kilometers from Swellendam and 250 kilometers from Cape Town. My little studio gallery is 900 meters from the National Road. at the nursery just next to the national road into it's about 900 meters from my little place now so I'm back vlogging I took some time just to settle in and get my little gallery space my home base going so now I'm back uh, I'm in the vlogging way I'm gonna walk down Buffalo Yachts because this time I don't have a vehicle and I'm just gonna see what I find here in Buffalo Yachts River it's a very small place but uh, there is a bit of stuff going down. Let's check it out. There's the little nursery at the start here in the garage. On the opposite side, and there are these parrots you can actually buy, that breeding pair. I'm not really into the bird in cages thing, no matter how exotic they are, but uh, if it's your thing, all day, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk down this road now towards my little gallery and see what we find for the day so that is the start of this side of Buffalo Yachts there's a tour group here this seems to be quite a popular stop but we are gonna skip the touristy side now and go deeper into Buffalo Yachts
this area around Swellen Dam is known for the farming of vegetables, citrus, persimmons, canola, milk, cheese, peppers and even lavender. down the railway line. Sometimes you get some action here. On the weekends, today is a Saturday. People sit here with beers and have a bit of a social talk while they're drinking beer on the railway line on weekends. And it also goes to the other side of town, which is not the touristy side, which I have to show you as well, obviously. And uh, so we're taking a leisurely stroll. It's not the most bestest day. But it's not too bad, it's been winter. We're slowly coming out of winter in South Africa. At least the sun is shining, but it's a bit chilly still, slightly chilly, and it's a bit of a breeze, but it's not too bad. This train still runs. It passes me every now and then. I'm not sure what they transport, but uh, it's still going. A lot of these railway lines are not in use anymore. They've just been neglected and standing desolate and derelict because the big days of railways in South Africa has come and gone. But this one, at least parts of it, is still active. That's where my place is, right there, still very rough, but uh, we're going to plant some plants there and make it beautiful as we go, and you can come and visit me and check out my art and have a conversation with me. It gets busy here, bear it in summer, I'm making a video every day for my other channel, just a short clip see what's going down and uh, that's my home base and my little gallery for now. Often I think to myself, Chris, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing, man? Well, you're not supposed to get a real job. And it gets a bit depressing every now and then because it's just a, a lonely road to travel. But last night I was sitting at my table making art and just thinking about things and my phone rang. And I have to give a shout out to Rob Godfrey who phoned me out of the blue from East London. We had a nice chat and he said he appreciates what I do to show the world in an authentic way because there's so much bullshit and fakeness in the world and he was really appreciative and thank you Rob man it really means a lot to me you know what I do is seen and people actually get something out of it it's really cool these are my neighbors actually uh, sitting around and uh, what's happening today man what, what's happening sitting around waiting for a taxi so no they're not going to town just sitting and having a beer maybe relaxing a little bit just relaxing
continuing our journey next to the railway line. Yeah, man, this is Africa. And the big thing in Africa is, and you'll see this often next to the roads and everywhere. Hey, man, you can just sit and chill. There's nothing to run towards. There's no rush, have a beer in the sun. No chill. Um, no planes to catch, no buses to catch. No big holes to reach, you can just chill and enjoy life. I like that. I like that, especially about the African vibe. <laughs> How's it guys? Who are you guys? I'm fine myself. Buffy up. Are you guys, you live in Buffy Yes, Capitola. Capitola. And today you're just hanging out and chilling. As Jaffe, uh, Enzel, Enzel, Calrico, and Joanne. As you can see, locals just hanging out next to the river. Summer is going to be so awesome here. And just being cool and chill, man. There's some cows here, so it's farm lands here. Also some industry, like a cheese factory. So apparently there's a wine farm of wine tasting as well. And uh, so it's an interesting space. It's a bit industrial, also farmland. But uh, the locals are very chill. And, Hard-working people during the week, and the weekends they party next to the river on the railway line, wherever, like one does. to the area where the locals live, most of the locals anyway, 
lots of farm workers, obviously people working on the fruit farms, and possibly a few factory workers, and yeah, laborers, and all kinds of folk. It's gonna live here. How is it to live here with us? It's so nice. Is it a nice place to live? Yes. It's fine. Definitely. Is it safe here? Yes. yes. Thank you guys. Yeah. Just walking through the streets, people are chilled and friendly. But uh, waiting for the cloud to pass. Not that much going on. Last time when I was here, it was a lot more pumping. I think it's got to do with the time of the month. It's more towards the end of the month now. People don't have money. No more beer. No more parties. Go on. The railway line goes right through this summer, right next to the houses, so it's probably not very safe if there's kids playing and stuff, but uh, that's how it is, huh? but the train makes a lot of noise when it comes through here, so check it out. People are very friendly here, very nice, no problems, nobody minds the camera, oh good. I think this is the closest you come to a shopping center here. It's like one uh, liquor store, one cafe, and one place that sells appliances, and that's it. So that was just a quick peek, yeah, in this community. And I felt safe and everybody was really friendly. That was cool man. Well this is still cool. <laughs> Check out these beautiful flowers. Taking the railway line back to my little place. And I'm going to spend the afternoon making some art and I'll continue this vlog in the next couple of days. Sometimes it seems to me that we've been conditioned so much by the Western capitalist system from birth to chase the immaculate dream that we forgot how to just be and that life is actually about a real simple thing which is called living. This is 
my space now, my home base for now. Hopefully I can hold on to this space if I can afford it. Uh, but it was nice for now to have it for a while and get it going. And I thought for the Buffalo Yachts vlog, I'm going to show you the space a little bit. I'm not going to stop vlogging. Um, I'm going to keep on vlogging. This is a very important part of my life. And for those who don't know my vlogs, it's very personal and I like to keep it authentic and real because there's so much fake in the world, especially of AI now and stuff like that. So the whole point is to keep it real, but it's also here to entertain, give people information about places and events, and to expose places and events, and advertise places and events, and give information. So it's also a practical site. So it's a travel blog, but like YouTubing, what is nice about YouTubing is real, it's authentic, and it's not overproduced and glamorized, and it is not like artificial and false and you know that old legacy media thing which is actually just a it's just a show this is more than just a show this is a yeah it's a vlog it's a real live thing and that's the appeal i think of youtube and new media so i thought i would make this part of the buffalo yachts vlog so far i haven't found that much to film i did put out information to people and say if you want to be part of the vlog around here let me know there are like places here like wine farms or guest houses. I don't get much of a reply, maybe this is too much new media for people. Maybe it's not fancy enough or lonely enough. I don't know, whatever. I think like two establishments go back to me. And unfortunately one is on holiday and the other one has problems with filling filling permission on the property or whatever. So I'm gonna do the second part of this vlog. Now I'll walk around and see what else I can find, try and make it as entertaining as possible. But uh, yeah, so this is my homeless now and I'm going to show you a little bit of it and what I do here. And if you're around here, if you come to South Africa or if you are in South Africa and you come past your popping man, come say hello and come check out what I do. Nice sunny day, I'm in my work clothes, so I look like a real homeless person. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to give you a quick walk through of the little place I have. Let's wait for this bike to pass. Oh. So that's the road coming from the N2. Here's my one sign, and then we walk here. So the art outside is stuff I'm still working on. So I work outside here for the bigger stuff, and then we get to my little place. It's still very rough. There's obviously no budget to make it like I can make it, but uh, it's the stuff. Little studio area, little room, it's a kitchen there on the side, and another little room and office area. So this is the nomadic gallery. Still very basic, but uh, you'll get there. Let's see what we can find more here in Buffalo Yachts. There's all kinds of nice and lonely places as well, like places where you can get massages and wine tasting, but uh, I can't get to most of those places because I don't have transport, but let's take a look and see what we find. This is a poor community. Most people around here do blue collar jobs. Others have no jobs and they have to hustle to make a living. These guys are gathering wood to sell.
down this road again nothing new to report really and like this olive dale in the back here those are like the more touristy and maybe lonely places where i can show you stuff but i don't have transport so i can't get to those places so apparently there's a clubhouse down here let's go check out the clubhouse Here we are at the gate of the Pugeljachs River Sports Complex. Uh, looks very low key, but apparently you can come here and pry and have sports days here, but I think mostly rugby and it's the end of the season now. But I think people still hang out here. Looks a bit rough around the edges, but uh, let's check it out. This is not going to be a wow moment, not much to see. Locked up as a place to bry and a little building, not much else. That was the most amazing sport complex of Pafuyas River. I had to walk in a bit, yeah. I see there's a faint type of vibe here with a gap in it. Uh, let's go see if we can get through there. Maybe I don't have to walk all the way around again. But not much more to show, it seems, at Bluffyachs. But you never know, anything can happen. Maybe something exciting will still happen to close off this vlog. Let's hope for the best. There's a railway line again, that's a good sign. If I can get onto the rail, rail railway line, I can get back to the other part of the village. Let's see. I might have to go through this garden. Up there are no dogs here. Knocked at the door, nobody seems to be home, but the door is open, but uh, let's see if we can get through here on the side maybe. The house is falling apart. Don't know if I would feel safe sleeping in there. Oh, a forlorn little teddy bear. I think. Or something of the sort. I don't know what it is. It looks like an old bunny. Right, railway tracks. Let's go down the railway line back. Tell me the story in English, do you mind that the house there, somebody still lives there, yeah? There, there, yes, there's one woman and her husband and a son. But if it rains, you say, the water goes so inside? The water goes like... Then she put a whole lot of uh, uh, bodies in there. Then the rain is coming down. What's your name, sir? Stephen. Steven, you live here obviously. I love you. And uh, what do you do? Just hang around? Or do you ever work or not really? Yes, yes. I don't have a job now for a long time. Ish. Difficult, eh? I'm struggling, sir. And whose nice garden is it in the back? Uh, no, that is a community service. Oh, okay. This part of the community, that one. This lady just told me um, she's glad I'm here to video a bit. Um, I don't know what she expects. Maybe she thinks I'm a normal journalist, but. You know, these kind of forgotten communities, which is the majority of the world actually, they, they are close to my heart. That's why I like doing this type of vlogging of these people. Because they are also here, yeah, they are also living. Elon Musk claims that the economy can grow indefinitely. Well, Elon, come here, show these people where is your infinite economy. Nothing ever gets here. So yeah, you know, everybody must live in the world. So I like taking video of these communities as well. They also need a voice. They are also valid citizens of planet Earth. And they need to be seen as well. And maybe one day they can get a bit of that infinite economy Elon Musk likes to brag about. <laughs> I'm not holding my breath. Back in this side of town, I don't think I can show you much more. Maybe in the next vlog I'll show you some lonely places again, fancy places. I don't have 
anything against anybody. It takes all sorts. I wouldn't mind having a million dollars or so and living a bit large, but I just like to show the whole spectrum of the world because I think a certain percentage of the human population has the big voice and then there is the gross majority that has no voice. And, uh, I think it's nice to have a bit of a more level playing field and give a voice to everybody, you know. Let's go to the cafe. I need to buy something to cook for dinner.